Hey guys, Biscuit here with another video. So today we're doing part two on uh, how to make an advanced FNAF Scratch game. So last time we did this. Okay, so now that we've done that, today we're going to make the menu for the, um, you know, for the game. So we're going to paint a new sprite, and it's going to open up this, but preferably, it doesn't matter, but we're going to put, make the background black, just like that. And we're going to put the title of it, so One Night at Totes, and we're just going to get that green-ish right here, we're going to put... And your writing is what I preferably want. So one night at totes. It's gonna go like that. And then of course we're gonna make this slightly bigger. Just so it looks cooler. And then we're gonna go down here, we're gonna put I'm just gonna change the color slightly. It's gonna put by Biscuit, dog, or whatever your name is. And then what you want to do is after you've done that, you want to go to the code, go when flag is clicked, hide. Just like that. And then we're going to go to zero, zero. And when this spread is clicked, broadcast menu, that we have that in the warning. So when I receive menu, show... Just like that, so let's see if it works. There we go, okay. So, now we have that, and we wanna, since we want the menu music to be different than the, um, intro music, you can do this if you want, but you don't have to. I'm just gonna do it when I receive menu. Stop, I'm gonna just do here. Stop other scripts in the spray, okay. And now for the menu music, I'm going to change it. We're going to delete pop because we obviously don't want that. I'm going to use something from my backpack, which is, I'm pretty sure it's, let's go, it's hit more. For now, I'm going to use the void, which is actually from FNAF. It sounds like this. I'm going to change it later, but for the essence of time, I'm not. So we're going to go play sound void until done forever. And now, as you can tell, the menu isn't that animated or it doesn't have an any animatronics in it, to be specific. So what we're going to do is actually we're going to make the animatronic models. And this sprite, I forgot to say, but we're going to name it menu. Now we're going to make the animatronic models. This can be a little hard, so don't judge yourself. I've been doing this for a while. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the main character turd. So I want him to be sort of variant of Puffy, if you know what I mean. Go play that game if you haven't. Big update coming soon. Anyway, um, I'm going to just make a circle just like this. And of course, this doesn't look like much, but it's going to eventually. And I'm just going to zoom in on it. Then I'm going to change this to white, just a slight gray maybe, and I'm going to change this to four, there, and there's one of his eyes, and now we're going to paste that, just like that, and since he's not in creepy mode yet, really, we're going to do this, there, now it doesn't look like much yet, to be honest, so what we're going to do, is we're just gonna, you know, add some, like, a mouth to him. So, let's go... Let's make him look pretty creepy, decently. Like this. And maybe he's gonna be banged up on the face that kids have drawn on him and stuff. Paste the head, like this. And we're gonna put it down here. Then we're gonna do this. Make it a little disconnected from the body because we're gonna add wires to make it look more animatronic like. Just like that. 
put some wires there one more so let's make that a dark blue no just like that and now we're gonna make his body look like it's actually more connected to these wires so we're gonna hit this little button here and it's gonna open up this menu now this is the customizable thing where you can like customize the shape so we're gonna make it go in a little bit more on both sides we're gonna do this and then this and then the middle is gonna be down a little bit and then we're gonna make this body of course a little bit bigger so it looks better on the head we're gonna extend it downwards more just like so Let's make it a little bit bigger Okay, good. Looking it, and we're gonna do this. We're gonna put it right over his body, and then when it says backwards right here, we're gonna hit that. So now it looks more like a turtle, as you can see, with his little shell and stuff. Then right here, we're gonna put like a brown right here, just kind of going over top of this. But we're gonna go front, 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 front. We're just gonna hit full back and in front until it's like this, so you can tell the scar is slightly covering it now to differentiate the colors. Now we're gonna place it a little disconnected as well and then we're gonna take this boom oops, we're just gonna reshape it to look sort of like this and then we're just gonna do this right here there, his leg looks much better now and we can extend it if we want and stuff like that. I'm going to do that. Then we're going to copy it and paste it. And then with this button that says flip horizontal, we're going to do that. And now you're wondering, what are we going to do now? We're going to make it look like his animatronic parts are kind of showing that the seams of the legs. So we're going to put outline is going to be black. It's going to be a three. And then we're kind of just going to go in like this. Just a little bit wider. Then we're gonna go like that. And then we're gonna copy that. And we're gonna turn this into an arm. Essentially. Here. Here's that. And we're just gonna make him look kinda like his arm is like that. But we're gonna hit back and then we're gonna go forward a little bit so it just looks like that. Like it's actually sticking in into place. Then what we're gonna do is copy and paste this. And maybe we want a mic in this other arm. Doesn't really matter. So we're just gonna go back again, forward a little bit. There. Then we're gonna make this arm in a different position. Then now what we sort of want to do is give him like a microphone. So to make that, which is really simple, you don't have to do this if you want. Make sure to like customize your animatronic to what you like. You don't have to copy me. So now let's go three. And we're going to make this little box here. And then we're going to take black lines. And we're just going to put them across like this. And we're going to hold shift on the circle and each one of these lines we're just gonna click on oops there and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit group and we're gonna hit and then after we've grouped it it's gonna move all together so then we can move it and give him a little mic of course it's gonna be bigger just like that oops there There, so now we've given him, this guy's going to become part of our menu. So we're going to do this, we're going to select around him, we're going to hit copy, and then in the menu, we're going to hit paste. So now he's in the menu, and obviously this is going to look way better. Now we can start animating him. So what we're going to do, is I usually like making them really big, and then putting them in the corner, sort of like this. So it looks kind of eerie like that. And make sure on the animatronic models, we just hit, we just do this when flag is clicked hide. It's mainly only to actually like get the models for specific things. 
So now what we're going to do is we're going to duplicate, we're going to double click on this, we're going to hit duplicate, and now we're going to make him and manipulate him to make him look all creepy. So let's just delete the pupil right there. So that already makes him look creepy. Let's say his smile is upside down. And let's also make sure he just has some other creepy elements, like his hand maybe has moved. Just like that. And his microphone, which we're gonna do this with, is like on this hand now. So essentially you have this frame and this frame. So we're gonna make an even creepier frame by duplicating the already creepy frame, by the way, costume. And we're gonna essentially make him like kind of distorted now. So front. And then let's go do. His microphone, we're just gonna go like this. Put it up there. We're gonna go front. There. So now we have these three frames where he just keeps getting creepier and creepier. And then we want to do this where he's, and then we want to duplicate the first one that's normal and drag it down to the bottom for four costumes total. So now what we're going to do is when I receive menu, switch costume, we're going to put a forever loop actually right here. We're going to go switch costume to costume four right now, but then we're going to go to operators and we're going to drag in a pick random on top of this. It's going to go switch costume to costume pick random between one and since we have four we have that so it's gonna look like this and if we want it to look kind of slower we can do 0 0.3 stuff like that or we can do 0 0.1 which looks good to me so now what we have is a actual good menu right now and it so let's see what we have here as you can see looks pretty looks pretty weird I don't know what it does that. Let's see. Let's just put stop all sounds. And then for this part, so update this code when I receive menu, hide, stop other scripts, and then stop all sounds. And then for this, when I receive menu, we're just going to wait 0 0.1 seconds. There. So now that should be done and good. So now I'm just going to make the rest of the animatronics, and I'll see you guys later when I've done that. Okay, so now I've made the three animatronics that we're going to have. We have Turt, Sharky, and Purdy right here. So now what we're going to do is make the static for the menu. So we're going to create a new sprite. I'm going to call it static just to keep everything organized. And then what we're going to do is we're going to put a black background. Just like so. And then what we're going to do is we're going to place a ton of white lines. Just like this. Small ones though. It's like boom, 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 boom. And just keep doing this until they fit up a decent amount of the page. Done that, you want to duplicate it, and then we want to we want to convert it to bitmap, and we want to flip vertical, then duplicate number two, then flip horizontal. And yeah, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go when flag is clicked hide. Go to zero 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 zero, and then after we're done that, just make sure to save the project constantly. And then when we go, when we receive menu, show set ghost effect, ghost effect to seventy forever. Go back into looks 
next costume so it looks like this so now this is what we've got right now at the end of this tutorial number tutorial number three will come soon as well so this is what we have So warning, this game contains flashing lights and loud noises. It also contains jump scares, so play at your own risk. Click to continue, and then here's the menu we have. There's no buttons, but this is a pretty good menu, in my opinion. And then we also have um, the animatronics that we close made, Chucky, Pody, Tote, and, um, yeah, just feel free to make your own animatronics, though. So, yeah, on that note, guys, see you in the next tutorial. Bye!